Hello, welcome to our unique learning system math lesson. My name is Charlotte Lucas. I am an autism low incidence mentor teacher with Richmond Public Schools, and I am delighted to be able to work with you today. Our math lesson today is part one of a two part unit on positive and negative numbers. We're gonna look at vocabulary first, then we'll demonstrate positive and negative numbers on a number line, and then we'll add positive and negative numbers. We've got a lot to do, so let's get to work. We're gonna start with the number line. You are already familiar with the number line. On this number line, it's a little bit different because the zero is in the middle of the line to the right, are all positive numbers. You see the plus sign, though that plus sign means positive when it's on this number line and see the minus sign, the minus sign means negative when it's on this number line and the zero is our unit, our origin. So a zero is the middle of all numbers. That is very important. The zero has no value. All negative numbers are to the left of the zero and all positive numbers are to the right, all right? Numbers that are equal distance from zero are opposites. For example, a minus four and a plus four are opposites because they are both four units from zero. Let's see how that works. So here's zero, four units away, one, two, three, four is a negative four. Let's go back to zero. Four units away, one, two, three, four is a positive four. So they are opposite. Adding opposite numbers will always equal zero. For example, if I have a plus four, plus four and I'm going to add a negative four to it. So all positive numbers are to the right. All negative numbers are to the left. So if I have a positive four and I want to add a negative four, I would have to move to the left, all right? So a positive four here plus the negative four will always equal zero. See, so I have a positive four. Let's add negative four to that. One, two, three, four. It's zero. Let's have a negative four and add a positive num a positive four to it. So if I'm using a positive, I have to go to the right. Let's go four units. One, two, three, four. It equals zero, okay? Positive and negative numbers describe opposite relationships. Positive is opposite of negative. Up is opposite, opposite of down. Above is opposite of below. How much you have is opposite of how much you owe. How much you have is opposite of how much you owe. That is an important concept. Keep that in mind because as we're doing our word problems, the, word, the words owe, when you owe something, that's gonna be in, that's the opposite of what you have. All right, let's practice. Let's see what happens when, we, when we're practicing this. Let me move this down. All right. It says, it's, this is a word problem, so we're go, I'm going to read it to you. Mary Beth is stacking money envelopes. She has five money envelopes to stack. Drag the blue point to the number of five of money envelopes of money envelopes Mary Beth has on the number line. So it says she has five money envelopes. So I'm gonna drag the blue dot to a positive number because it's that's something that she has, okay? And I, I make that look like a positive. Now let's see if I can get that five to work in there. A positive five, okay? So that's that number on the on the number line. Here we have our number line again. Here's our zero, our point of origin, negative numbers, positive numbers. I'm gonna make this bigger because Miss Lucas can't see, and I need to be able to have this big enough. You're fine, you can see, Miss Lucas cannot see. All right, 
Let's read the next one. Ryan borrowed three corn wrappers from Randy. He owes Randy three corn wrappers. Remember, something that you have is opposite to something that you owe. Remember that phrase? Drag the red point to the number of corn wrappers Ryan owes on the number line. Now, if he owes something, that's the opposite of what you have. And what you have is positive, so what you owe has to be negative. So let's go to three. And how we will represent that is negative three. Okay? In here, the, the positive is blue and the negative is red. All right, let's move on. Let's see if we can do that again to see if you got it. I know this is new because I don't think I've worked with negative numbers, positive and negative numbers with you before. So this is new. We're going to take our time and we're going to figure this out. It's a word problem. I'm going to read it to you. Mary Beth is counting loan applications at the bank. The temperature today is 10 degrees above zero. Above is the opposite of below. Drag the blue point to the temperature on the number line. Okay, so it says the temperature is 10 degrees above zero. So if it's above, it's a positive number. So let's drag this to a positive 10. And how we're gonna represent that is positive 10. All right. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so that I can see it. All right, was that helpful for you? Let's do another one. We had a positive number that, that time, you have to, Understand the opposites, how the how everything is phrased. Ryan is handing out deposit slips at the bank. The temperature today is four degrees below zero. Drag the red point to the temperature on the number line. So above zero was a positive number. The opposite of above is below. So that would be a negative number. And it's four degrees below. And we will put that on the number line. Here's our point of origin zero, negative numbers, positive numbers. And we can represent that as a negative. Let's see if it want, doesn't want to work for me. Ah, four. Excellent. Negative four. Now, when you're working with negative and positive numbers, it is very important to put the symbol in front of it that tells us if the number is positive or if the number is negative. All right, now we're gonna move to adding positive and negative numbers. And this worksheet is a little bit busy, so I'm going to switch to um a document that I've made that will allow us not to have such a busy piece of paper and we can look at one thing at a time. Because whenever it gets, when, when your paper gets too crowded, get another piece of paper and put that piece of paper on top. That way you're just looking at what you need to see at that time. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna just pull out what we need to see. So we're adding positive and negative numbers. Our first example, negative four plus a positive four. A negative four plus a positive four. So in order for us to start, the first thing we do is go to the negative four and we will put our dot on the negative four. One, two, three, four. And to add, the second number is going to tell us what to do next, which it's telling us, and I need to drag a piece of paper up here so that we can uh, not have such a busy piece of paper. And let's see if I can get this right. 
Let's go to the second. All right, so now the second number tells you how many units to move. So we have our negative four. We're going to add a positive four. We're going to add a positive four. So we're in the negative, we're on the negative side of the number line and we need to add a positive four. And if we're gonna add a positive four, we have to move to the right. And we're gonna move four times, one, two, three, four, and the answer is zero. Very good. The answer is zero. We're going to end up on zero. Okay, so a negative four and we add a positive four, we're going to get zero. Let's see if we can do one more example. Here we have Our next example is negative two plus negative three. Okay, that's a little bit different, isn't it? A negative two, and I'm gonna write this down because when we move this page, we wanna make sure we'll be able to see the problem, plus a negative three. All right, so we have our problem. Move our paper down a little bit. And this, this stuff jumps, but I'll, I'll move it back. Okay, so let's look at the problem. It says negative two plus a negative three. So our first digit is a negative two. We go to the negative two on our number line and we place our point there. And then we're going to add a negative three. We're going to add a negative three. Now, if we're gonna add a negative three, we have to move in which direction? If we're adding a negative three, then anything that's negative moves to the left. Excellent. So if we're on the negative two and we're gonna add a negative three, then we must move in the direction to the left because it's a negative number. So let's add a negative three. One, two, three. And the answer is, Excellent, a negative five. Okay. So we have a good idea how this works. We know that we, if, we're, if we're adding a positive number, we move to the right. And if we're, adding a, if we're adding a negative number, we move to the left. The first number tells us where this to start and the, neg the second number tells us what, what we're going to add and in which direction it's going to move. Okay, so let's this that was the same as this. Let's move on to our next problem. This time we get to do some adding. We're going to be the ones operating this. Let's see how that works out. Mary Beth is handing out lollipops to customers at the bank. She has eight lollipops. She owes Ryan four lollipops. She owes Ryan four lollipops. If she gives Ryan the lollipops she owes him, how many will she have left? And we're going to use the number line to solve. So how many lollipops does Mary Beth have? It says here she has eight lollipops. That's what she has. And if something that you have is positive, so we need to put a positive, a positive, and what is the amount? Eight. A positive eight. She has eight lollipops. She owes how many lollipops does how many lollipops does Mary Beth owe Ryan? Well, she owes Ryan four lollipops. If she owes him something you have, the opposite of it is what you owe. And if that's the opposite, then it's a negative. And that is going to be a negative what? A negative four. Excellent. So let's see if we can make that work. It says, how many lollipops does Mary Beth owe? A negative four. So let's solve the problem. 
we're going to use this blue dot right here and we're going to where are we going to start at the positive eight we're going to move our dot to the positive eight and let me see if i can make this bigger because i can't see it i know you can but mrs lucas i have old eyes all right so i move my point to the positive eight okay now i need to move to add negative four so if i'm adding another a negative number i'm going to move to the left and how many times am i going to move four times so we're going to use this little we're going to see if we can use this little loop right here and move we're on eight we're going to move four times that's one two three four so we were on a positive eight and we added negative four because it was a negative number we moved to the left one two three four and what was our answer a positive four See how that works? It's a different concept, isn't it? Adding uh, positive and negative numbers. You've just got to figure out which, which way are you going. If you're going to add a positive number, you're going to move to the right. If you're going to add a negative number, you're going to move to the left. Always start with your first number on your number line, find your point, and then move in the direction that the next number tells you. All right, let's try another one. That wasn't too bad. Let's try another one. I kind of like this. This is working out really well. Randy owes, I'm sorry, Ryan owes Randy five corn wrappers. He owes Randy five corn wrappers. Can someone tell me quickly, if you owe someone, is that a positive or is it a negative? If you owe. Is that a positive or a negative? Yeah, it's right. It's a negative. All right. So here it says Ryan owes Ryan owes Randy five corn wrappers, and Ryan owes Mary Beth two corn wrappers. How many corn wrapper does how many corn wrappers does Ryan owe altogether? He owes that. So if he owes that. Uh, he owes Ryan five corn wrappers. And if he owes that, then what is that number going to be? A negative number. Excellent. So that's going to be a negative what? A negative five. Let me see if I can get it in this box. A negative five. Excellent. How many corn wrappers does Ryan owe Mary Beth? If he owes it to her, it's going to be a what? Negative number. And how many does he owe Mary Beth? Two. All right, let's see if we add those two numbers together. It says a negative five plus a negative two. That's a little bit different, isn't it? So we start by putting our point on the first digit, which is a negative Five, and there's a negative five. Pass the zero to the negative part of our number line, negative five. And we're going to add a negative two. I am adding a negative two. And, and if I'm adding a negative number, I have to go in the negative direction, which is to the left. And how many times will I move? Two times. Let's do it. One. Two. So negative five plus a negative two, one, two will equal a negative seven. I'm excited about that. We got that right. Well, there you go. When we get that green box, we know we got it right. This isn't as bad as I thought it would be adding negative numbers. That works out pretty well. Let's do another one. 
Let's see what happens. Let's read the problem. You can probably do this by yourself. You probably don't need me anymore. Let's see. When Mary Beth started working at the bank, the temperature was a negative three de degrees. By noon, it went up 13 degrees. What was the temperature at noon? It went up. So it started at negative three and it went up 13 degrees. So here we have, what was the temperature when Mary Beth started? It was a negative three. All right, how much did the temperature go up? If it goes up, that's the opposite, isn't it? So that would be a positive. It went up a positive 13 degrees. This doesn't want to work. There it is. A positive 13 degrees. So let's see if we can, that's a whole lot of positive going on. So we started at a, let's put this dot, at a negative three. We got to go to the negative portion of our number line, put it on the negative three. And we have to add a positive 13. And if I'm adding a positive number, what direction am I going to go in? You're right. We're going to go to the right. Let's add it. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Whoop, go back. Eleven, twelve, and the last one is thirteen. All right, kind of got a wiggly line going on here, but let's see, we can still add with those with these wiggly lines. Let's see what we got. So we started at a negative three, and then we added a positive 13. So we started at negative three on our number line. Here's the zero, our point of origin. We go three to the negative three, and we add 13. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and the answer is what? The answer is ten. Well, you want to say that the answer is ten, but that's not correct. The answer is positive. There you go. It's a positive ten. So let's get that positive. Then if we don't put a positive in there, you know how math is. If you don't use the right uh, symbols, the answer is wrong. If you said 10, your teachers are going to say, nope, that's not right. It's got to be what? Positive 10, because we have to distinguish between the negative numbers and the positive numbers. So it's positive 10. Excellent. Oh, my. I'm telling you something. I think you did an excellent job with that. We're going to do just one more. This is part one. I'm going to do part two uh, on, on the next lesson date, and we will get a little bit more in depth, but let's for out just for practice, let's finish this one out. This is the last. All right. The wonderful thing about this unique system is if you click on a word, it's going to read it to you. I'm reading it to you, but if you click on this, it's going to read it to you. So I love that part about this unique uh, learning system. All right, let's read the, the word problem. 
Ryan owes Mary Beth seven deposit slips. He gives her five. How many deposit slips does he still owe Mary Beth? And I'm gonna use the number line to solve. So how many deposit slips does Ryan owe Mary Beth? Well, he owes her. And whenever we say the word owe, we know it's gonna be what? Is it gonna be a positive or a negative? Right, a negative, excellent. All right, how many does he owe her? Let's see if I can get into this, this um, make my cursor go in the box. There we are, he owes her seven. Okay, now he gives her, if he gives something to her, he gives her um, five. Let's see, if he gives her, would that be that he would add? Let's see. He gives her five. So let's say, would that be a positive? Yes. He gave her five. Question is, how many deposit slips does Ryan still owe Mary? We're using the number line. We have a negative seven. Let's move our dot to a negative seven. There's the zero point of origin. Everything to the left is negative. This is a negative seven. And we're going to add a positive five. So let's add a positive five. And if we're adding, we're going to the right. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's see what our answer will be. Negative seven plus a positive five. One, two, three, four, five. It's a negative two. It's a negative two. Excellent. If we get that green box, we know we have the right answer. Guys and girls, you did an excellent job. You listened. We worked it out. We can see how to add negative numbers, positive and negative numbers together to get our answer. And we know how to do it on a number line. I'm very excited about this and I'm very happy at how well you were able to solve the problem. So we're going to come back together uh, on our ne the next date that's on your calendar and we're going to do adding negative and positive numbers again, and we're going to get a little bit more elaborate. We're going to uh, ramp it up so that we can figure out how to find the answer. You've done a great job. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye now.